folks, it's Jody with Strength and Wisdom Tarot here doing a bonus reading for the February 1st. Um, I just did a video and there was a like that couldn't make up its mind whether it wanted to burn out or not. Well, it did. So, if it came out a little bit dark, I'm a, I apologize. So, let's do another bonus reading. Thank you for everyone who has liked, subscribed, shared to my channel. You guys rock. And if anyone would like a personal reading with me, all the info will be in the box below. Anyone that wants to learn tarot, I do have tarot card classes. There are five videos at $20 a piece. Um, plus, there's a bonus video. And I coach through them. So, if you ever get stuck, give me a shout. Um, love and relationship readings will be on special for the month of February. Uh, check out the box below for the info. And um, my mystery healing boxes. Small, medium, large, and the travel box now is available. So, they are beautiful. Check them out. They're all one of a kind. So, let's start off. Wow. We are starting off with the Four of Swords. This is taking a pause, taking a breath, taking a step back. Reprioritizing, re-strategizing. Could be because somebody got their socks blown off here. The tower, something comes in hard and fast, blows their mind, never sees it coming. Hmm. Interesting. Now we have the chariot, the cancer card, moving forward with victory and success, but you only get the victory and success when the two sphinxes work together. Head, heart, hope, fear, subconscious, conscious. You get those two on the same page here, you can go anywhere. And it could be that somebody has to take some sort of sabbatical or rest, a timeout. Because something devastating comes in, but this person gets to collect themselves and move forward from it. It could be because of communication comes in. The Eight of Wands, reciprocated communication back and forth, whether it's email, you know, face-to-face, -face, texting, Skyping. Hmm. Now we have the Page of Swords, a.k.a. Spy Card. Somebody here could be watching about who's talking to who. I get a feeling it could have been this person, this page of swords. It could be an immature communication that comes in. Something childish said that blows somebody, you know, somebody's mind. That they could be that immature. And they choose to go forward. Maybe they're speaking to somebody else. Somebody's watching. Because now you get truth coming in. Ace of swords. The universe giving somebody an opportunity to see if they take it or not. An epiphany, an aha moment. And it could have been with somebody who was, well, a control freak, so to speak. You get the emperor in reverse. They're in the upright, usually depicted as an Aries or a Taurus, but he could be anybody that has these traits. In the upright, this is somebody who's got firm foundations. Draws a line in the sand, and that's where respect is earned and given. He's usually older. He could be a father figure. Been there, done that. But he rules an empire because he's done it the right way. And yes, he demands respect because he deserves respect. Now let's put him in the reverse. Stubborn. Oh, yeah. Somebody who doesn't think the rules apply to them. They demand respect, but they can't give respect. And that's right under the tower. Somebody oversteps their, the boundary lines, so to speak. Somebody might have got the, the truth real quick and hard about how this person is. And yeah, they're off like the fool. Off on a new journey, embarking on something new. Taking a chance, a leap of faith, a risk. And it's right under the chariot. So you have two major arcanas. Right above each other. Pretty serious. 
I think somebody overstepping their boundaries really blew somebody's mind, and they're like, oh, no. Oh, no. You get the Seven of Cups after, and this is confusion. This person's looking at all his options, and they don't look too bright. I mean, you don't even know what's under the handkerchief. Slim pickings, I would call it. But it's right under the, you know, the reciprocated communication coming in. Somebody could be, you know, confusing somebody by what they're saying after something abrupt between two people. And somebody after thinking about it knows the truth and wants to move on. And somebody could be watching them go. And they might be the ones confused. Why don't they want me? Why don't they want to stay back? Why don't they respect me? Because somebody done crossed the line. That's why. And something definitely changes. You have death. Something dies. Something comes to a loss. An old way of doing things. It could be this relationship. Somebody has done crossed the line. And it changes everything now. Bottom of the deck. Yeah. And it could have been hurtful. You get the three of swords. Heartache. Despair. But somebody's going to move on from that. They've made that decision. Absolutely. So let's get into this one. There's been a resting period for someone to think about or prioritize what they're going to do. After something comes in abrupt, quick, maybe even out of left field. And this has made somebody get their act together and go forward. And there could be communications after this. There could even be some spying going on. But somebody knows the truth now. They chose to accept the truth. And see somebody how they really are. They don't offer respect. They don't give respect. It's all about themselves. It could be greed. Somebody's breaking loose of this person. They showed their true colors. And they're taking a leap of faith. They're taking a chance and a risk. on blocking something new. Now there could be some communication after that kind of makes them confused. But in the end... They're Dunsky. They leave this behind. Whatever blow somebody gave someone was enough to turn around and shut the door on this and let it stay dead. And yeah, it's hurtful. It's painful. But somebody here got a reality check that they're not going to hang around for this. Hmm. So let's break this one down, folks. Somebody got the truth. And thought about this truth. Could have been with an emperor-like person who didn't respect the other person. And bang, it comes in real fast about how disrespectful someone can be. After the thought process here, someone's like, I'm going on something new. Deuces. And they take that risk of moving forward without this person in their life. Now, they might be trying to communicate with them and try to confuse them. And all in all, this person can watch because somebody here is shutting the door and calling it dead. Damage has been done. The hurt has been done. And this person is going to move on and heal. Wow. So that is what I have for you. Please keep on liking, subscribing, sharing to my channel, and I'll see everybody back here real soon. Take care.